Hi, my name is Jay, and today I'm here to quickly show you how you can start using your Gigastone Smart Box in the next few minutes. Okay, so when you first purchase your Gigastone Smart Box product, inside the retail packaging, there is the Smart Box itself, there is the USB cable, and then third, there's a USB, uh, excuse me, there's a user manual. Okay, so how you're gonna get your Smart Box up and running is that you would need to have an SD card. Unless specified, usually the SD card does not come with the Smartbox product itself. Okay, so once you have an SD card, you need to put the files into your SD card. And how you can do that is by, for example, transferring files from your laptop into SD card, or if you have a digital camera, put the photos or whatever into your SD card. Okay, once you have all the files that you want in the SD card, the next thing you need to do is put the SD card into the smart box itself. So here is the SD card slot. Just simply put the SD card into the SD card slot. Okay. Next, we're going to press the on and off button to start the Gigastone smart box. All you have to do is press the on button once. Okay. Wait for the light to start blinking. Okay. This process is going to take about a solid 10 to 15, 20 seconds or so. Okay, when it is in a fully operational wireless storage mode, this blue light will be blinking on a regular interval basis. Okay, so let's give it a few more seconds for it to start blinking. Okay, now it is in a full operational mode. Okay, next, what you need to do is go to your mobile device such as an iPhone, okay, if you're doing this for the very first time, what you need to do next is find the Gigastone Smart Box mobile app. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go to the App Store on my iPhone. Obviously, on your Android, you go to the Google Play. Okay, so inside the App Store, you just simply need to search for Gigastone Smart Box. Okay. And this is the Smartbox mobile app that you'll be downloading. You find it and you simply click on install and simply install it into your mobile device. Okay. Once you have your mobile app, the Smartbox mobile app uh, installed, the next step is to go to your settings. Okay. Go to your Wi Fi. Okay. And look for the Smartbox uh, local Wi Fi network. Okay. You see the Smartbox uh, local Wi-Fi network, click on it, okay, and to connect to Smartbox wirelessly. If you're doing this for the very first time, it will prompt you and ask you for the password. The default password is written on the back of the Smartbox product, okay. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And later on, I'll show you how within the settings on the mobile app, you can uh, customize it, okay. Once you're connected to the Smartbox uh, local Wi-Fi network, the next step is to go to let me connect to the Smartbox. Uh, wait for it to connect first. Okay, now it's connected to the Smartbox uh, Wi-Fi network. Next thing we need to do is go to the Smartbox mobile app. Okay. So, within the Smartbox mobile app, it is now wirelessly connected to the Smartbox itself, and now I can access the content, the files and folders within the SD card that I inserted earlier. So, for example, if I were to click on Smartbox, the folder, okay, inside I can see the various folders uh, with the files in there. So, for example, I want to see the photos inside uh, Smartbox, okay. Just simply click, and voila, I can see the photos in there, okay? Or, if I want to check out the videos that I have within Smartbox, click on Video Folder, okay? And then there's a video for me to play, okay? That's how you connect and start accessing um, the files in Smartbox, and you can stream content uh, wirelessly, whether it's a music file or movie file, okay? Next, what I want to show you is that under settings, okay, you can change the device SSID and password. So, for example, if you want to rename um, the Smartbox network to something personal or change password, all you have to do is click on change device SSID and password, okay, 
is they're going to ask for the enter administrator password. Again, the default administrator password is going to be written on the back of the Smartbox product itself. Okay, so I'm going to quickly enter it. And this is how you can configure the Smartbox the device uh, SSID and password. Okay, so what I want to show you now next is that right now I have one mobile device wirelessly connected to Smartbox. The cool thing about Smartbox itself is that you can have multiple devices connecting to the Smartbox at the same time. Okay, so for example, um, somebody else uh, also has a mobile phone and they also want to, um, you know, check out the files on uh, Smartbox itself. So all they have to do is follow the same exact steps that I just did earlier, which is, you know, they need to have the Smartbox uh, app itself, okay? They need to go to the Wi-Fi network, okay? And connect to the Smartbox, uh, turn on the Wi-Fi, okay? And join the Smartbox uh, mobile app. Okay, and once they're connected to Smartbox, same exact thing. Go back to the mobile app itself, the Smartbox mobile app, and they can now access the same exact uh, Smartbox and start checking out, um, you know, the files as well. Okay, um, Smartbox is also uh, compatible with tablets. So here I have an iPad. And I'm going to repeat the same exact thing. So this is the trend that you're seeing here, right? First, you need to have the Smartbox mobile app installed. Second, go to settings, okay? Same thing. I'm repeating the same story here. Go to Wi-Fi, turn on the Wi-Fi, and connect to Smartbox. And once it's connected to Smartbox, okay, you do the same exact thing. Go back to the mobile app, and you can start accessing the files. So once it's connected to Smartbox, Okay, oops. So, searching for the network. Maybe taking a while, but again, you're repeating the same steps, okay? Okay, it's already connected to Smartbox. You're gonna go to the app itself, okay? And you can see the same files. So, for example, I wanna see this folder photo. Um, okay, uh, another cool thing about Smartbox is that you can also upload the files from the local. Let's say I have some files here within my iPad that I want to upload into um, Smartbox. I simply hit select, choose a file, and hit upload. Okay, and choose where, whichever destination I want to upload it to. So Smartbox is, 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 is a device where you can upload and download files, transfer files from different multiple devices. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you quickly is that let's say, for example, um, my uh, iPhone is running out of battery, right? And I want to charge my iPhone, my iPhone with Smartbox. All you have to do is use your own um, USB cable, okay? Plug it into Smartbox, okay? Connect the other end into your mobile device, okay? Once you hear the beeping sound, it is charging. That's how simple it is. If your smart box is in an off position, all you have to do is press this button once and it'll do the same thing as charging. Okay? So last thing I want to show you is that let's say your smart box is running out of power itself. All you have to do is use the USB cable that comes with the box and you either charge it, you can charge it through a PC or a Mac, okay, or use a USB plugger to charge the smart box itself. Okay, so this concludes a quick demonstration of how you can use smart box. If you'd like to have additional, see additional product information, feel free to go to gigastone.com slash smartboxrocks. Or if you want to see AQs, uh, user forums, different useful tips and uh, you know training manuals and articles, go to smartbox, uh, gigastone.com slash smartbox help. Thank you so much and hopefully you will enjoy your Gigastone smartbox. Take care.